so hi everyone today we will be having a very exciting tutorial explaining the leaked prompt of cursor ai yes you heard it right if you know cursor ai is a very popular ai id for pair programming for programmers now recently its system prompt was leaked on the internet so if you don't know what is a system prompt system prompt is provided by the developers of the application which runs internally and any users can't see it so for example when you ask cursor ai to write write me a python code for prime numbers eventually it's not just that prompt going in there is a system prompt an internal prompt that the team appends on their behalf and it's a long prompt that goes in with your request so this is the leaked prompt of cursor ai as you can see it's quite huge it's huge it's almost three to four pager looks like thousand words paragraph to me so in this short tutorial, I would be extracting some key insights from this particular prompt that I got when I read it and what you can implement in your prompt engineering techniques while extracting codes from AI. So let's get started. So this is a video about lessons learned from the leaked prompt of cursor AI. So the first thing that I learned about prompt engineering, looking at cursors prompt is talk like a pair programmer when asking for writing code so don't ask it to write code ask it to let's debug this together i am stuck on this error can you help me out so the ai should feel like a human this is very very ambiguous but i think it works as mentioned in cursor's prompt so the ai should feel like it is working with you rather than working for you this works a lot and you should talk like a pair programmer the next is let the AI see the code. Even if there are no files, assume that there are files. For example, in config.py, should you change the setting? Error in utils.js, line 15, what's wrong? So these are some examples that I'm giving you. So if you have a huge project going on, don't ask it uh, abstract questions. Provide it with co proper file names. And even if there are no files, you should ask it temp.py exists write me a code for writing python program for prime number so this is one of the examples that they mentioned in the lead prompt also let ai see the code the next thing that i learned was don't over complicate the three try rule is mentioned in the prompt stating that if you fail three times while writing the code ask the human being ask me clean edits only show new edits not full files and one change edit one file per response so clean edits means that you need to provide uh, the ai should provide comments also okay okay i changed this file at this point so i think recently you might have heard that people are not able to manage their huge projects with cursor ai i think this is the way to go you need to ask it to provide comments wherever it is adding the new code and three try rule is something that i also liked a lot let's move on to the next set what i learned smarter search find user login code search auth or sign in check utils for error handling so try to provide with context ki where it can file the code and just don't give it a abstract answer ki okay find the code for me so provide as much context as possible about searching as well run command safely whenever you are asking it to execute a code do ask it to follow certain guidelines do ask it to check whether this code will do some issues or not whether it is not deleting any file these guidelines should be provided in your prompt keep edits clean as already mentioned show only new codes with hash existing code such comments check nearby code before editing this is very important when it is adding new code it should look at the nearby code as well that it doesn't get affected and the last one is start projects right include readme.md package.js modern design ask it to include every requirement also it should not be the case that it is not adding anything the prerequisites for any project example new react plus tailwind app with setup instructions so whenever you are starting a new project do mention in the comment uh, in the prompt that these are the requirements that i wish to have so these are some key insights that I drew from the prompt. You can look at the prompt. I will share the link in the comment section below. And then you can think of what things that I missed out and comment back 
what did you learn from the prompt thank you so much